pretty hot today, so uh, trip's not good. Mm. I think I'm gonna go up into the mountains. Why not? So yeah, I found a nice spot, uh, a little bit off the beaten path. Let's walk up here a little bit and just see what I can find. That's pretty amazing, huh? I left the uh, woods behind me and uh, it's warm up here. I can see the valley down there and uh, I think this is where the uh, power gliders start up here to the highest peak and go down from there.
changed within minutes here. Um, I'm in the clouds again and uh, it is cold, super cold. I uh, left my uh, jacket in the car because it was so warm before and uh, yeah, I do regret this now. And there's no view anymore, completely disappeared. I have to find my way back uh, to the car somehow. I think it was down here somewhere. So this is, you see that um, flag in the back here uh, or that indicator for the wind. So that basically um, is the spot where uh, the paragliders uh, jump off um, or, well, I guess they run down here and then take off. Um, it must be in a crazy moment, you know. The moment of uh, completely letting go. I was actually thinking about learning that. But it's a bit like life itself, you know, when you just like go over the edge. You just uh, let go of your fears. And paragliding definitely it must be scary. But they're definitely also more dangerous things than paragliding because uh, I don't even have that many accidents. I think I came from here. Not 100% sure, so it's gonna be interesting to find the car now. Yeah, so I guess, you know, in life it's the same thing. It's a little brighter here. Sometimes you just have to risk it and jump and hope for the best, you know. It is not as safe as we think. Well, it's actually utterly unsafe. And, um... There's not much you can do about this, I think. To make life completely safe is an utter illusion. It can't be safe, you know. This is not safe either here. Even though I have to say, you know, on film it never looks as foggy as in real life. You barely see anything here. But what I want to say with this is, you know, do we really think that we can make life completely safe? What we try to do right now, you know? I don't think it will ever be possible. We can try our best. <clears throat> but what I'm feeling is that there's just a complete disconnect to death. We completely push that away. We don't see it anymore. And so that's why we are so afraid. And I'm not saying do stupid things, but the more you try to restrict and the more you try to make life safe, the more boring it gets as well. So there's a payoff for that, definitely. And are we willing So by the way, if you make it to El Hierro and you walk that path, watch out because I don't know what kind of horse this was, but it was a big horse. There's this pile of shit in the way. I'll be careful. Ugh. Must have been a monster horse. How did the horse get through here anyway? You know, anyway, these woods always look like directly out of a fairy tale. I mean, look behind me here. It's just amazing. Isn't it? 
was another horse. Must have been a horse. Or a tiger. So, I don't know exactly what it is, it's some sort of church or something, but uh, it looks really cool. I uh, can't see much inside, but it definitely looks cool from the outside. Hey guys, so this is really cool too here. Uh, there's this altar in the middle of these woods here. And um, yeah, this wooden cross and it looks really, it looks really, really beautiful. So that was a, a fun little um, excursion. Life isn't predictable and life isn't safe, so um, and again, I'm not saying not to take care of Corona, but I think this whole safety part uh, kind of at the moment is spinning out of control. There's so much fear in the world and so much uncertainty and we still have to accept even when we get a handle on uh, the coronavirus that life is utterly uncertain. You know, we never know when uh, it's our time to go. And that's just a fact. There's no certainty, there's only ultimately uncertainty. And the more we embrace the uncertainty, uh, I, I believe the more fun life can be. But when we try to make it safe, then it's very restrictive and very uh, limited. So that's my concern with uh, being afraid all the time, uh, all that fear in the world that we might restrict ourselves so much that all sense of adventure will disappear and only survival will prevail.